Welcome to Picture It All. In this video, I will briefly walk you through the interface elements that appear when the program starts, so you can jump straight into organizing your digital resources. Visualization Interface The interface used across the program have distinct visual elements that help you, the user, to identify areas on the current window. The main window is divided by four areas. The left area allows you to locate the files within the various storage's devices. It also allows you to change to the tag, search and map section. On the main area, you will see the thumbnails of all the images found when you selected a folder on the left area. The right area displays the metadata information associated with the selected image, including details like date taken, camera settings, and location data. At the bottom is where you will find various buttons like cache information, rename or delete files, change the theme, access the help system or just close the program. Renaming files in Picture at All is very powerful because the program not only renames the files, but updates the tags bindings in the database seamlessly. Let me show you how it works. Let's create a small example of adding a tag to an image and renaming it. After, we will search the tag and confirm that the renaming process keeps the bindings to the tags. First, we will search an image to our example. We selected it and then press the tags editor button here. Now that we are in the tags editor section, we select the image and create a new tag called binding. After writing the name of the tag, we can press enter or press the button except with the left mouse button. To add a tag to an image or a group of images, you must first select the images you want to associate with the existing tag. Then, drag the tag onto one of the selected images. All selected images will be associated with that tag. Note that if you want to add more than one tag at a time, you must select each tag individually, and then drag one of them onto one of the selected images. Now that we have selected three tags for the image, we can return to the visualization interface by pressing the back button here. Notice that the image we previously tagged is now identified with a number. That number represents how many tags are associated with the image. If we click the magnifying glass icon in the top left corner of the window, we'll enter the search section of the program. We won't go into detail about this section for now. Let's just see that when we select one of the tags, the image appears as expected. Let's go back to the visualization interface again by pressing the back button. The image remains selected and is easily identified by the orange border around it. Let's press the rename button. Since the image contains metadata, as shown here, and we want to rename it to Water Rocks, we press the down arrow button and choose the option Custom Name. This allows you to rename the file freely. We type the new name and press Preview Rename. This lets the user preview the name before it is actually changed. If we are satisfied, as we are, we press rename file, and the file is renamed instantly. Because the file was renamed inside picture at all, when we go to the search section, and search using either the tags, or the new name, the image appears as expected. We hope this brief presentation has helped you understand the core mechanics of the program.